My name is Manny Garza. I'm originally from Monterrey, Mexico. Uh, born and raised there. By the time I was in first grade, we moved to Dallas, Dallas, Texas, me and my family. And by the time I was in fourth grade, we moved down to the Valley. And ever since then, we've been here. And my name is Megan. I'm originally from Oregon. I moved down here um, with a teaching organization to teach in middle school and the public schools down here. Well, uh, we're getting married. <laughs> Yay! Awesome! There was a lot that led up to that. I had very different plans in mind, but I was just talking to Manny about um, Proverbs 16.9, because in a man's heart he plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. So I had my own plan, and um, God just so clearly called me down here to work with the teenagers down here, and I didn't know in what capacity, but um, I've fallen in love with it, and, and it's a blessing to be down here with you teenagers. Mission to me is basically share your story. When I give my life to the Lord and I would attend the services at Logas Community, the one thing that I would consistently hear all the time is share your story. And obviously that basically is found in the Gospels. When I went through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you hear Jesus say, and talk about the Great Commission. In other words, go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, the simplest way for us to be able to do that is for us to be able to share our story and how Jesus Christ has truly changed our life in a non-religious way. Because religion will change your behavior, but the Gospel changes your heart, and that's really what matters. The Great Commission calls us to go into all the world and make disciples. Uh, so it's not optional, and it should be a joy. Like when we realize what Christ has done for us, it's, it's the greatest joy there is, is to be on mission and, and look for opportunities to share him with others. Oh my goodness, we would win America back. Um, families would be restored because the name of Jesus would be proclaimed. People that haven't had a loving relationship with moms or dads would finally be able to get and receive that agape love that Jesus Christ gives so freely. Why wouldn't you want to give it? So mission gives purpose. Um, it's, it's what God designed us to do. So when we live on mission, we're living in the way that we were created to live. So anything else just is empty. When I realized that Jesus Christ hung on the tree and that the wrath of God fell on Christ, and I knew that I was the one that spat on his face, pierced his hands, whipped him to the point that you couldn't recognize him, yet he was willing to do that for me, and yet still loved me at that, in the, in the same capacity, uh, overwhelmed me. So what drives me now is for me to be able to extend that with other people, because you gotta realize, outside of Jesus, there is no salvation. And the Bible is clear. If the way people perceive things to be, like most North Americans that always lead to, to God, if that was the case, Jesus would have stuck around for a whole lot longer, and we would have had many more books on Jesus. But the fact is that he didn't. He died at the age of 33, and um, he did it for us.